Hello everyone. This week I decided to do my discussion and further research on Douglas Winarski, Jonathan Edwards' enthusiast, radical revivalism, and the Great Awakening in the Connecticut Valley. I also used sources from our earlier reading from this week from Thomas Kidd, A Shower of Divine Blessing, Jonathan Edwards, and A Faithful Narrative in the Great Awakening, The Roots of Evangelical Christianity in Colonial America. And I also used a source by Paul Lucas from the Journal of American History. I found the Great Awakening story that we read earlier this week to be very interesting. I found it very informative and I, it was great to learn about Jonathan Edwards and his vision of religion and being so boisterous and passionate about the fact that God was an angry judge and humans were sinners. but. He was very passionate in his conviction and this reached out to the people of his community and the people within his community spread the word of his messages that he was preaching and it brought in more people from the outside, hundreds of people. <clears throat> and the word spread and all of the sources that I've used express this in their writings very detailed about his passion and his conviction. Um, they all also discuss a little bit of a background of his education, who his grandfather was, and the fact that his grandfather was his predecessor. <clears throat> and he, they all discuss that what really pushed him to start being more boisterous about his beliefs was the fact that the unmarried young men and women within his community were frolicking late at night and this ended up causing the death of one of the young men and during this man's funeral Edward saw that as an advantage and a perfect time to start putting the word out and catching the attention of people and getting them to become newborn Christians and seek um, God's approval. So with all of this and the spreading of all of his words and everything amongst the community and then even further out, these resources that I've researched explained that that was the very beginning of the Great Awakening of Jonathan Edwards and other um, preachers that got involved in with the new Great Awakening. Thank you.